oh man a first memory I, I gotta go with the first things in my head um it's this scene in rocky one where he's walking home and he's walking a little girl from the street and she was hanging around these guys i don't know if you remember that and uh he was he was walking her and you kind of just the first time you really saw his character pop because he's telling this girl that she shouldn't be around the neighborhood and if not if you hang around boys they're going to see you as and he paused he was like you want to make me say a bad word but a whore and then I, that scene stuck with me so much because it was just a character moment you know and you thought that he got to this girl and this girl's like yeah you know uh you're right rocky then as he's about to get in the house it's like screw you you weirdo or something like that and i was like it felt so true to the environment and the world like you can you can smell the block you know you can you can you can just taste the air and i felt like their conversation was so raw and real and i saw the flaws in him that those are like memorable moments to me you know so it's not like him climbing up the steps you know which it's not the first thing that popped in my head it was like that scene which i loved so much it felt like it was real it, it, it was both you know uh no one knows rocky like like sly you know so i was picking his brain and figuring out where we could go next uh we talked a lot about his real life you know his relationship with his kids um because he's a man of that age he's a man of, you know rocky's age so seeing where he's at in his life and how that can compare to rocky's character um you know through like living in 2018 you know and having a family so all that you know that's the collaborative process is getting through all that but it was it was great working with him he definitely gave me the freedom to sort of do with that whatever you know what i mean he definitely gave advice along the way but he knew going into it that the only way this is going to be special and speak to this generation if i if i was me you know so there was constant times where he would you know motivate me you know he was very inspirational saying like hey this is this is your film you know do as you please and and you know i don't know i felt like we were, we were on the same page the whole entire time making a movie so it was just a great process overall yeah, it was tough because I did a lot of research and trying to figure out what was what wasn't done before, you know, and um, I eventually landed on the fact that being inside the ring, um, feeling the punches, the, the speed of this character, I haven't seen that in any of the Rocky films. And I mean speed and power, you know, Ivan Drago was all power. Apollo Creed was all speed and so it was like combining those two with this guy named you know Victor Drago aka Florian was tough you know he came out like a Mike Tyson almost but just bigger and so uh, I really wanted people to feel the punches I did a lot of POV perspective shots I was just in the ring you know make sure you felt his size and his weight sound played a huge part in that um, whether it be the punches I uh, played a lot with his footsteps so you hear this big dude coming out the corner the doof the doof the doof it felt like you were about to be you know stampeded on and all that played into the look and feel that that I essentially wanted and I also didn't want to shoot it um, slide a version of Balboa where he, it looked like it was an actual HBO event shot from cameras and then in the Rocky Four, he was a lot outside of the ring on the ring post and I was just very much in your face with it all you know characters were right up in, at the lens and so were the punches yeah, I think I think it is very cinematic. Um, just two guys in the ring, no team. You know, you have a coach in the corner, but it's usually one on one. It's all mental, you know. And so I think people can relate to that. You know, it's trying to overcome something. Um, that one thing that's sort of staying in, standing in your way. The long rounds, you know, lasting a while are all things that can apply to life. You know, I think that's what makes boxing so unique is the training process and the actual art and skill of boxing the technique applies to everyday life whether it's you're working at an office or you know if you're an artist so to speak um you can re relate to the to the skill set needed and in a training that's, that's required um while fighting um that people can connect to you know and it's like one of the true underdog stories you know um because you can feel a man you don't have to necessarily feel for a whole team again you can just feel for one person if you show the journey outside the ring then all the stakes are elevated when you're inside the ring fighting probably three <laughs> no. um it, it depends on what class too but i know a few but i only know the famous names you know what i mean you know the mike tyson's the the uh, lennox lewis's you know uh holyfield you know uh ali you know uh sugar ray uh uh mayweather of course uh shoot see it didn't start to get fried up uh 
Miguel Cotto, but you know, he wasn't heavy. It depends on what class. There's so many belts, too, so I guess you got to take that in consideration. Um, but, yeah, you can only remember, like, the famous ones, you know, um, that were in, like, big epic brawls. But there's tons of boxers out there that people don't even know about. And and, it, and even those who've, who've made it, you know, you start to forget about them quick. You know, it's interesting. Like, now people don't talk about, like, Tito Trinidad, you know, and there was an era where he took over. But, you know, like, in, in my half Puerto Rican so you know of course that plays a big part in, in my life and the people around me but you don't hear people necessarily talking about him anymore so it's like what can you do to surpass that and make sure people are talking about you all year round like Ali and usually it's the stuff that you do outside the ring you know Mike Tyson's known for what he's outside the ring Mayweather's known for also flashing and keeping like staying alive in his undefeated record Ali for all his protest and what he did so um, it's interesting, you know, how many you remember. Like he said, it's all about your legacy and telling a story that sticks to your ribs. Maybe Tr uh, Trinidad didn't have a story that stuck to people's ribs to, to hold on long enough, you know? Yeah, no, I think it was important to make sure that um, these guys had story and drama outside of the, the boxing world. Even for someone like Tessa Thompson, Bianca's character, you know, talking to her about having a baby was a big thing for her. She's like, but what about my career? It's also a big thing for her in real life. And so I was like, if you can connect to that, then we should make it part of the movie. You know, maybe instead of being so enthusiastic and, and, and excited about having a baby at first, maybe you're contemplating like, wow, like I wasn't ready for this. This is a surprise. You don't get to see that kind of real talk in, in films. A lot of times, like I'm pregnant and it's like immediately a hug and yay. But she was like, wait, my career, how's it going to affect my life? I feel like those are real conversations people have you know, when either hearing the news or thinking about having a baby at the right time. Um, not everyone, but, you know, a few. And so, yeah, all those elements, I think, were important to, again, elevating the stakes and the drama. So when we got into the ring, we cared about the characters because we saw them go through just small stuff that we are related, like we can relate to. Um, especially having characters that are, like, black on screen. I felt like I wanted to give that, you know, depth to each one. I didn't want to make it surface. You know, Don's Creed wasn't just like, I want to fight because I want to fight. He, he had a, he thought he had to prove his legacy and, re, and regain his you know father's respect and name uh, before he can move on and then uh it took him to get beaten it took him the whole healing process in order for him to get there you know it just didn't happen overnight as some would say